Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Maya tutorial, I'm gonna talk about transforming multiple components independently. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show three different objects and talk about the axis orientation, transforming objects and its components, as well as using control middle mouse drag to change those selections. In Maya, we have a few ways of transforming multiple components individually. To demonstrate this, I'm going to go to the primitives and choose a cylinder, and then press F on the keyboard. I'm going to go to rotate, and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees in the X. Then press enter, and I'm going to scale this. I'm going to scale this this way just kind of shorten it up to about here. And then I want to go to component mode. And let's go to faces. And what I'm going to do is I want to select these faces here and just delete. Delete these. So we have sort of this half circle. And I want to duplicate this a few times. So I'm going to go to my outliner, and I'm just going to press Command D to duplicate. And let me go to my move tool and just move this over a bit. Command D and just slide this. That way I have three of these to work with. So I'm going to go to my first one here and I'm going to go to faces. So say for an example, you have an instance where you have these faces selected. So I'm going to select these faces. And I want to go to the Move tool. I want to double click. And you want to notice that we have Axis Orientation to Object. So I want to extrude these faces. So I go to Shift. And excuse me, I'm in the uh, wrong axis. Shift. And this will extrude these faces. Except maybe this isn't the way that you want to extrude these. Maybe you want to extrude these individual faces outwardly instead of straight up and down. So I'm going to go to my other object we have. Make sure we're in component mode and go to faces. And let's select the same faces that we had before. Move this a little bit. So we have the same faces. But let instead, let's go to component for axis orientation. Now we have the ability to shift and drag. Click and drag. And now we have the ability to extrude these faces outwardly in sort of a radial pattern. Now in this case, now you can go to scale and say maybe scale these a little bit. But you can see that we're having sort of the same issue as this is scaled within this reference frame instead of individual component selected reference frame. So let me undo and I want to go to my scale settings. And let's do the same thing. Let's go to component mode. So now I can scale these selected faces individually. OK, great. So let me select this object. And I'm going to move this over just slightly so we're not bumping up into this other object. And let me go into face. And I want to select the same faces. No, excuse me. I want to select these faces here, skipping one. So we have uh, one face selected, and the face right next to it is unselected. So say I want to extrude these out in a radial fashion. So I hold down Shift. 
and extrude these out. Now, what I can also do is hold down the control and middle click. You can see now I can translate these faces up and down by just holding down control and shift, uh, control and middle mouse button. I'm using a stylus, a Wacom tablet, so I'm using it and it's a little, maybe a little slightly awkward, but if you have a middle mouse uh, button, you can use this function. Now let's go over to the rotate tool. And now if I'm holding down control, middle mouse button, you can see now how it rotates from its center axis of its of the individual faces. So let me undo. And now let's go to scale. And now I can control middle mouse button and drag. You can see now we can then affect and scale these by its own individual reference frame. So we have a, a bunch of different ways of scaling and rotating and, and transforming multiple selections by using the axis orientation within the tool settings, as well as using control middle mouse button to translate individual selections. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.